All right, guys, so today we're gonna be putting together Queso's Bioactive. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait. So we're gonna be lacking in a couple of things here, um, like the isopods. I do need to order more. So no isopods today, unfortunately. But we're gonna go ahead and get the bioactive part started. So first things first, you guys have already seen this background in a video. I've got my iHeart Geckos conversion door on here. This is a 20 gallon tall tank. I was gonna put her in an 18 by 18, but I feel like there wasn't enough floor space. So this is actually 24 by, I forget what, 16 maybe? Um, so it's more floor space than an 18 by 18 Exoterra. So already I've got a light installed up here. This is one of the lights from Walmart, just like I have in Chalupa, not Chalupa, in Calypso and Kluwa's tubs. Um, so I did put it on the outside, just above on the rack. So we'll see how that does for the plants and whatnot. I will be putting a heat mat in here, right under here in her hide. So we're gonna be attaching that and then we're gonna be getting started. So I did move this part over because as you saw in that video, um, this ended up being a little bigger once I put all the grout layers on it. So it doesn't fit where it's supposed to go. Um, and I kind of wanted to limit how many nooks and crannies there were for her to fall in or get trapped in. So I did move it over um, because it fit under here pretty well. So it's just gonna stay there and there'll just be an empty spot over here that she can hang out in, but whatever. So the mix I'm using for the bioactive substrate is a DIY mix. It is uh, about 50% organic topsoil and 50% play sand. I did also want to mix in excavator clay, but when I went to the pet store, they didn't have any. And then to order online, it wouldn't have gotten here very quickly and the shipping was expensive. And I've seen a lot of people just do this mix, which is what about 95% of my enclosures are right now. I like absolutely love mixing topsoil and sand. I, I don't know what it is about it. I just absolutely love it. And I swear by mixing substrates. I'll never use a single substrate unless it's like Aspen. I always mix my substrates. So this is what we're doing. We're doing um, play sand and organic topsoil. Eventually I'll probably redo it and use excavator clay. But for now, I'm working with what I've got. I also considered using a um, bio dude mix and I really wanted to I had it in my shopping cart and everything but his um, his mixes are a little more expensive because of the shipping so for now I decided this is just my first go at doing bioactive enclosures I'm just gonna use what I've got keep it simple All right, so now we're gonna add in the plants. So I've got quite a few succulents and I've got snake plant. So we're gonna add those in. If you wanna see how I prepare plants to make them reptile safe, I will link that video in the description below because I did a video on that last year on how to make plants reptile safe. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting in some plants. That is it for day one. I still have a lot to order, but I wanted to go ahead and get the plants I had in so I could start rooting. And yeah, I like to, it's probably gonna end up kind of like Pip's enclosure. I'm just gonna keep adding a little more at a time and build it up over a while. Um, Cause I do like to give the enclosure time to establish before putting the animal in. So I want to get that process going as soon as I possibly could. All right, so I got some new isopods today for him. These are just some powder oranges that we're gonna be sticking in. And I got some temperate springtails as well from Glass Box Tropicals. 
so I just put those in as well. I wanted her closer to have another hide and I couldn't find one online that matched her background so I decided to just make one. So I made it the same way I made the background. So if you missed that, you can check out that video on my channel. So I pulled everything because I decided 50-50 was too much sand. So I added more dirt and I like it much better now. And then I added Easy B Mix from DVD Pet. It's kind of like an ABG mix. So I put that in her hide for like a humid hide. And I put it in the areas that I knew would be heavily planted. And then we put the plants and all the decor back in. We're putting queso in her new enclosure. Queso, do you have anything you'd like to say? No. All right. Do you want to go check it out? I don't even know where to put you right now. There's so much going on. What do you think? Do you think you woke me up? We swapped out the food dish for the other one that she had. It's smaller, it fits her better, and it takes up less room. Where do you think you're going? I put plants over there so you wouldn't go in that corner. Is that where you're gonna go hide? So thank you guys so much for joining us for today's video. Let me know what you think of Casey's new enclosure in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. I will leave a link for everything I bought online in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.